Hello and welcome to another edition of MNI TV. My name is Heather Scott. I'm the Washington Bureau Chief for MNI and with me is Steve Beckner, our Senior Federal Reserve Correspondent. Uh, today Steve covered the, uh, the closing of the FOMC meeting, the Fed's Policy Setting Board. Now there wasn't a lot of news in the, in the statement that they issued, uh, but so what were the significant changes or what did you see out of the statement, Steve? Well, there were no changes in policy per se. I mean, they kept the uh, $85 billion per month of bond purchases. They, of course, continued uh, the federal funds rate near zero, or it's been for uh, more than four and a half years now, and said that even after they end uh, bond buying, that they will keep the funds rate uh, very, very low for a considerable time. But there were some, a few nuances that caught the eyes of uh, Fed watchers. So what, uh, what kind of hints did you get in those nuances as to what, how po what policy will look like going forward? Well, you know, it's, I think, I wouldn't want to make too much of them, but there were some interesting nuances. Um, and we get into semantics here. There was, uh, instead of saying there's been moderate growth, they're now saying there's modest growth. Now, to a lot of people, uh, including myself, I don't think there's a great deal of difference between moderate and modest, but nevertheless, some people will see that as a little bit more of a dovish signal. Uh, I'd hesitate to overinterpret that. The other significant and probably more significant aspect of the statement was uh, where they said that uh, persistently low or per persistently below target uh, or words to that effect, inflation, inflation running persistently below the 2% target could pose risks to uh, economic performance. Uh, that could also be interpreted as more of a dovish signal. I just see it as something that sort of to bring on board people who had been more vocal about uh, con their concern about excessive disinflation, in particular James Bullard, the St. Louis Fed president, and in fact he dropped his dissent and voted with the majority. But I wouldn't make too much of that because the, that at the same time the Fed said that the slow inflation is probably due to transitory influences. They expect it to come back up to 2% and so forth. And they said that inflation expectations have remained stable, which is very important because if inflation expectations were falling, that would be a greater source of concern. So, of course, a lot of people were thinking the Fed was will start tapering or dialing back those asset purchases uh, sometime later this year, September or possibly December. Uh, what, where are you looking for hints of when that might happen? Well, it's difficult to say. I mean, uh, you know, the chairman did say later this year, said that he re repeated that in his latest congressional testimony. And I don't think there's any reason reading this statement to think otherwise. Now, whether it's September or later is just going to depend critically on whether not just job growth, but whether GDP grows fast enough to sustain an acceptable pace of job growth. Right. Okay, well, and we have some speeches from various uh, Federal Reserve Bank presidents coming up, and we'll be watching those for any more hints on, on the policy direction. And we'll have you back next time to give some more insight on Fed policy. Thank you for joining us for another episode of MNI TV.